Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, this is a very special edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, we have Chad from Chad's Beer Reviews and Chad9976 here. And uh, <laughs> there he is there. We're figuring out to get some software on how to um, do a proper Skype call. But for now this is, this is okay. Um, we're reviewing. Chad's gone out and bought some Fuller's ESB from his beer store. So we're doing a joint review of Fuller's ESB. Yeah. It's 5.9% in the volume. Yeah, that's what mine says. Product of Doom Room. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There we go. Oh. Now, are you... Is ESB one of your favorite styles? Because whenever I meet someone from uh, the UK... They say English bitters and ESBs is like their favorite style. It is a very I do enjoy it, um, an ESB. Um, there's, there's a certain roundness to it. I like the the smooth and more more of an alcohol. I find with these extra special bitters, they got more of an alcohol content to them, which I'm becoming more and more used to it. I'm enjoying more and more all the time. Um, yeah. Well, five point nine percent is not that heavy. That's actually. For me, that's pretty average. Yeah, I imagine it is. I imagine it is. Uh, in the UK, that's probably a little above average. It's amazing how uh, just across the pond you've got so many different styles of beers which uh, and styles of drinking, which I imagine yeah. will become closer together in years to come, I imagine. There's no, there's no description. Oh, wait, there is a description. It's pretty long, though. But it's just like the history of the brewery. It doesn't talk about the beer. Uh, it says, uh, winner of many awards around the world, bursting with powerful, sustained malt and hop flavors. It is the world's original and the one by which others are judged. So this is the the yardstick right here. Mine says, twice voted world champion bitter, three times voted world beer of Britain. And they just got all their awards on mine. So, yeah. should we open them? Yep. I'm using my uh, my Tule English pint glass that I got when I was in uh, Iceland. Fantastic, fantastic! And I'll be using the the old uh, pint wine glass, which we haven't seen for a while. So, are you ready to crack it? Okay. Look at that! Simultaneous. Oh, I got wicked smoke on mine. Yeah. Can you see that? Absolutely. Yeah, we've got a bit of bubble smoke coming out the top. What's the colour coming out, Chad? What sort of colour are you getting on your beer? What sort of what? Colour. What sort of colour are you getting on the beer? Um, I call that copper. It's, it's very, very clear. Yeah. Lots of uh, lots of carbonation. I got a nice what three finger head there. Yeah, but I got a two finger, two to three finger head going on. Uh, it smells like wine. It does. It does. I think there's a, a definite alcohol smell going on to it, and it's quite a hoppy drink. Do you think? Um, yeah, it's like those English. Uh, hops, probably like the Fuggles, the Kent, East Kent Goldings. I'm not sure which ones they use though, so I'm just kind of uh, speaking off the top of my head here. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Yeah. I like it. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah. There's a kind of a fruity taste to it. Did you notice that? Like kind of like a almost like apple juice. Mm. Yeah. Like a apple slightly yeah, definitely, definitely apple. Apple in there. Slightly citrusy would you say? Um, I don't think I 
like say citrusy, but it's kind of like a dark fruit, uh, like apple, plum, maybe. Not not like a Belgian beer, but it's it's because it's much more mild tasting than something, you know, like a, a Belgian double or something. Um, there's a distinct dryness through the middle. Did you notice that? Yes, yes. It's um, it is dry on the palate towards the middle, most definitely. My head's gone down. It's, the body's not too bad. You got a good body on the drink? Yeah, I got a nice... My head's hanging in here because I got the... Uh, I like to pour my beers a little aggressively to get a thicker head on them. I've noticed that. I've noticed that with the American style of, uh, of pouring. It is quite... It is quite ad aggressive and fast. Um, yeah. To, is that to keep the head? Is that is that a tradition to keep the head? Yeah, you also help get the carbonation out that way too. This is pretty tasty. Um, I mean, it definitely lives up to its name. It's there's a distinct, like dry bitterness to it. I mean, when I think bitter over here, I think like IPAs, like just massive hops. This is more of a it's like a traditional kind of pub ale with yeah. a distinct dry bitterness but like the the bitterness doesn't linger. It only sticks around for a moment or two and then it kind of fades away. Yeah. Um, rating wise I, I normally rate mine out of 10 so if I was to rate this out of 10, I'd probably say I'd give this maybe an 8 or a 9. What would you say, rating-wise? I mean, you use the letters, don't you? A, B, C, D, and E. Um, yeah, I use a 10-point scale, too. Uh, I was thinking 7 or 8. Like you said, it's really smooth. I would agree with that. It's very smooth. Um, I like a little bit more taste in my beers this isn't what i would call super robust but it's uh yeah and it's an english english beer and they're they tend to be very mild they yes yes i'm looking forward i'm having beer sent to me from um tim 19 timers one and i mean it'll be my first um american style ipas and, and the, the imperial stouts you have i'm really looking forward hopefully i get them next week to try um, just to see exactly, because I watch a lot of other people's beer reviews, just to see exactly what, what they're drinking myself, really. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, would you say this is um, a good session beer? Do you think you could, you could go out, have a meal, enjoy maybe five or six of these? Or, or do you think you would probably wander to another beer if you were oh, yeah, out? Well, I mean, I bought a six-pack, so I'm, in fact, it's uh, Sunday afternoon here and football is on, so... I might just sit around on the couch all day and kill this six pack. But I probably won't drink six of them. I might drink like two or three of them. Yeah. Definitely. I think I would probably. I, I, I had this on the chat shelf and I, and I cooled it for 20 minutes before the review. Um, I would probably have put it in for a little bit longer if I could. It's, it's not warm, it's not freezing cold, but I'd have liked it to be down a little bit more, I'd say. Just a bit, bit cooler, just to try it then. Yeah, I'm but, drinking this probably at about 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's how these beers are meant to be drank, I think. Yeah. But, okay, I think... Um, that the, wraps it up. That wraps it up. This is... Um, Real Air Guide, Simon the Real Air Guide, and special guest on my channel today. I'm so glad to have him here, I've got to be honest. I've been speaking to Chad for a few months on the, on YouTube, and he's, I always look to watch his videos. Um, he's one of the best beer reviewers out there, I'd say. The, more to, more, the, the reason being is he's very regular. He's probably doing five to six beer reviews a week. And you know, yeah. every time you put, a, you put your, your YouTube on in the morning or the afternoon, whenever you want, there's always a new beer review out there, so... I think that's another reason why I watch his channels. But thank you very much, Chad, from Chad's Beer Reviews and Chad9976. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for thinking of this idea. It's a good idea. No problem whatsoever. So, cheers. Thank you very much.